With the ball gowns and red carpet, tonight's event truly was glamorous. But the honorees say the road getting here was not. Jade Whenever I was in jail, I had a complete feeling of hopelessness. For 17 years, Jade Capps battled addiction. When she wasn't in jail, she was on the street. Capps was ready to accept that was her fate in life until she found beauty for ashes. And they give you the tools, so you've got you've to put forth the effort. After going through the program, which includes education, job training, counseling, and prayer, Cap says she is a new woman. There are people that will surround them and support them as long as they actually want to change. You have to want it. You can't just, you can't just go into something and um, think it's going to be a way out. You've got to be willing to put in the effort to do it. Beauty for Ashes founder Kim Adams says the work is hard, but the message simple. But you are not your past, and your next is not your now. One by one, the ladies walked the stage showing off both their physical and spiritual transformation. Oh, it has turned my life all the way around. Kim Evans lost her son in Iraq, and she fell into a darkness she never thought she would overcome. But she, too, found light. My hope for the future is to be able to keep helping women just like me. I love it. To some who had never had hope, who were never even able to smile, just to see them be able to know that tonight we can celebrate them and offer them a new walk in life. For more on how you can get involved with Beauty for Ashes, head to WYFF4.com and click the On TV section. Liz Lohe, WYFF News 4 in Greenville.